Hello everybody and welcome to Mercedes-Benz Vans here in Charleston. I'm glad to welcome back Governor McMaster and his team, other governmental community leaders, our suppliers and business partners, and of course members of the media. On behalf of our, our entire local team, we are proud to have you here with us today for our planned opening ceremony. I personally liked it here so much, I made Charleston my new home. How can you top this warm weather, this beautiful location, and all the friendly people? I can see that many of you were here just over two years ago when we first broke ground on our new plant. Now we are here again to celebrate the opening of a world-class facility that produces Sprinter vans for the entire North American market continues and continues to bring many jobs into the area. As you know, we have been reassembling Sprinter vans here in North Charleston for more than a decade, to be precise, since April 2006. We are proud to have local team members here that have been here with us since that day and that are joining us today to see the next great milestone of our project. To support them, we have already hired many of the additional employees we'll need for the ramp up of the part by part production here in our Charleston plant. By 2020, our Mercedes-Benz Vans family will grow to 1,300 team members. But whether rookies or veterans, I'd like to thank all of those involved for putting in the effort to get this plant up and running. Our employees really are the heart and soul of this facility. That's why I want to take a moment to address my team directly. I know that each and every of you has dedicated a lot of long days and hard work into this new Sprinter. And it's taken all our individual contribution to bring our team to this day of celebration here today. When this new Sprinter van rolls on stage, I want our whole team to, pay an act, to play an active role in our showing off uh, the result for our hard work. I think you all are familiar with the wave from uh, sporting events and as we have the stadium seating there in the back, I think that is matching perfectly. So a little later today in the program you see the Sprinter van drive on stage and as soon as you see the van moving, I want to start the wave with our whole team starting on the left side all the way through the right side of the audience. So let's practice it now. <laughs> yeah? So I will count on three and then let's practice. So one, two, three. Woo. Guys, great job. I know that you are capable to do even much more than building sprinter vans. Great job again. <laughs> to our guest, I think you can already see that the last two years have been a massive undertaking for Mercedes-Benz vans, but it's one that will surely pay off in many ways. We have invested 500 million US dollar to develop this land with a new paint shop, with a new body shop and expansion of the assembly line to produce Mercedes-Benz in the future and that is an enormous leap into that next chapter of our uh, history. In addition to our existing facilities, we have gained more than 1 million square feet with an expanded assembly line as I mentioned and that is really needed here to accommodate the production of the new Sprinter. We've truly made Charleston our new home, and we will continue to give back to the local community 
just as we have done throughout the expansion. We do that through additional uh, programs with uh, educational programs like Charleston Promise Neighborhood, environmental efforts such as our partnership with the South Carolina Aquarium's Sea Turtle Recovery Center, and volunteer projects with Trident United Way. And since our slogan is Vans Born to Run, of course, we also run the Cooper River Bridge Run as a team. <laughs> These are just a few ways we can show our thanks and return uh, the true Southern hospitality we have received here so far. And we commit ourselves to make a positive impact here in Charleston, also in the future. As one of my colleagues liked to say, we aren't just building vans here, we are building futures. Futures for our employees and for the community. We would not be able to achieve this without the support of the state, uh, state of South Carolina. And I'm honored to have the highest representative of this fine state with us here today, who has a few words for us. Governor McMaster, please be so kind and join me here on stage. Well, I tell you, I'm, Ms. McMaster and I are thrilled to be here. I've been watching the progress of, of this company in South Carolina, and it is, it's a great thing to see in this last step. Now manufacturing these vans takes it all to another level. Tommy Baker, you think you'd be able to sell any of these? He thinks he can sell it. Let me tell you all, in this position, and also as used to be our Attorney General, and also as Lieutenant Governor for two years, I had the opportunity to meet a lot of business leaders from all over the world. And I want to tell you what they tell me. They say there are a lot of reasons they want to come to South Carolina. And one of them, of course, is the great research universities, MUSC, USC, that's Carolina and Clemson, that are entering into collaborations with these big companies for research, development, innovation, new ideas, and brain power that takes us off the scale. Also, the great port of Charleston with its inland ports, also, the great technical college system, and I, if Mary Thornley is here, I want to recognize her. She has done a great job at that technical college. <laughs> None other than the Secretary of Commerce, U.S. Sec US Secretary of Commerce, Wilbur Ross, says that the workforce development system in South Carolina is the best in the United States, and people know that all over the world. But the oceans, the mountains, the streams, the low country, the low country is, is unique uh, in the whole world. And there's so many things, but everyone, in, including this company, has said to me, and it's been said again today, that the main reason that people want to work here, big companies want to expand and locate here, is because of the people. They say the people of South Carolina have something different about them that you can't find anywhere else. And as was expressed by a Japanese company in Greenwood opening up a big company there, they said the reason we are here is for three reasons, the people, the people, the people. So ladies and gentlemen, it's not a secret, it's out. And that's why we are thriving in South Carolina. We are we're having more job growth than anyone else in the country. The employment, unemployment rate is the lowest it, it's been in, in decades. We have more people working than ever before in South Carolina, and what is happening here, what has happened with these, with you in this room, is a perfect prime example of what the future holds for this great state and our great people. So on behalf of approximately five million happy, proud South Carolinians, I say we, we love Mercedes Benz vans, we love our partners, and we look forward to an even greater relationship and prosperity in the future. And thank you. And if I may take another moment, if Mr. Balky and Mr. Uh, Morning very Peg will come forward, please.
Last time I saw these gentlemen, we were at the governor's mansion in Columbia riding around the, uh, the parking lot there in one of these vans. It was yes, a van over here. And they let me drive, and we had no incident. It went all perfectly. That's right. Excellent. Yes, right. This is a painting of the low country of South Carolina, which you see when you walk out the door here. We are proud of South Carolina. We, people of South Carolina are proud to be your partners, and we look forward to great prosperity and success and pledge to you that we will do whatever it takes to be sure that these people in this company are successful here. Thank you. Perfect. Sounds great. Thank you. I'll thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So Governor McMaster, thanks a lot for your inspiring speech and thanks also that you're taking your valuable time to be here with us and celebrate with us today. That means a lot to us and I'm speaking here on behalf of the complete uh, team here of Mercedes-Benz Vans and Charleston. <laughs> With this being said, I'd like to introduce our next guest here on stage to you guys. And that gentleman is the success behind the van operation for many, many years now. It's our boss, the head of Mercedes-Benz vans in Germany, and as I, as I mentioned, the father of all that success the van business right now has, Volker Monnenberg. If you please join me here on stage. So, uh, thank you, Mike, and thank you as well, Governor McMaster, for your kind words. We look forward to a long-standing cooperation between the state of South Carolina, the local community of Charleston, and our Mercedes-Benz team members. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm convinced that our new high-tech plan will continue to deepen our relationship with the city of North Charleston and the state of South Carolina with great benefit to the local community. It is a long-term investment for the region, for our employees and their families. As Mike already mentioned, currently there are 900 employees at the plant. In 2020 and in full production, it will be around 1,300. And it won't just be in jobs we provide. The new plant will also attract new business. Our upfit integration partners, Auto Truck Group, have already set up operations in Somerville. And Napheide and Transit Works are right next door to these buildings. In addition to our direct hires, we estimate our plans expanded operation will lead to 600 more jobs at our suppliers and another 6,000 indirect jobs here in this area. So we think we are right in saying expanding of our North Charleston facility is the most recent in a series of great decisions. It all started in 2001 with the US arrival of the Sprinter, which our local team has now been reassembled here in North Charleston for over a decade. The matrix for over three years. In a way, these vehicles honor the tradition of the first US produced American Mercedes from 1905. This was the result of a partnership between Daimler and piano manufacturer Steinway that dates all the way back to 1888, exactly 130 years ago. Long tradition. This printer was also the first of its kind to come to North America. And it's been a huge hit. Within 17 years, North America has become the second largest market for Mercedes-Benz vans worldwide. This was a major contribution to our global success. In 2017, we just over 400,000 vans sold worldwide. The Sprinter led our sales 
charge. And with a total of 12% increase over 2016, we are able to achieve a new sales record for Mercedes-Benz brands. Demand in the US and Canada also continues to rise. We delivered over 44,000 vans here in 2017. These are 3% more than the previous year and more than ever before. So, building a full-scale production plan in this market makes perfect sense. It was a great decision to plant our roots here in Charleston and to build up this state-of-the-art facility. It was great because we could add so many new team members to our Mercedes-Benz band's family here in Charleston. And because we have created a strong economic momentum for the region as well. We expanded our footprint with this plan and we are looking forward to contributing to this beautiful city and the Palmetto State in general. As we draw on our combined global expertise and experience, we will become an integral part of our global sprinter production network. Joining plants in Argentina as well as in Ludwigsfelde and Düsseldorf, both in Germany. Within this network, the North Charleston plant plays an essential role as it now provides the new generation sprinter to important North American markets. What's more, this new factory was designed with flexibility in mind, allowing it to also support our network in times demand. It is agile and adaptive. It can respond even faster to market changes and customer needs. And to ensure this higher standard of product quality, it has been implemented to follow our proven standardized Mercedes-Benz production system. It is a model of intelligent production, features as well as time and money saving innovation such as self-driving transport systems, the switch from paperwork to digital records to reduce waste, and virtual training to provide an exceptional preparation for our employees. For example, we have invested heavily in computer-assisted training tools to complement conventional training. In fact, our new plan will lead the way in terms of innovation, especially when it comes to connectivity in production and digital communications on the shop floor level. Technologies such as data logging, RFID, will allow us to know where the components are in the supply chain at any given point in time. This will greatly increase efficiency reduce stops in production, and allow us to use this cutting-edge plant to its fullest capacity. Our plant opening aligns with the introduction of our great new product, the all-new printer. Vents have long been a very specific, very important part of the economy. Even from its first model generation, this printer was a game changer when it came to logistics. But as you may know, the three current mega trends of individualization, urbanization, and digitalization are fundamentally changing our customers' business. They now need comprehensive support as they navigate this new complex environment. So we took it upon ourselves to provide well the solutions to go beyond the vehicle itself. In this way, we are moving from being a strictly vehicle manufacturer to a provider of holistic transport and mobility solutions. Our new activities include connectivity innovations, hardware solutions, rental models with a pay-per-use approach. New concepts for moving people 
and a holistic approach to electric mobility. The new Sprinter is the first range of vans to bring all these aspects together from the beginning. In other words, it's a fully network holistic system solution. Here in Charleston, the new Sprinter will be made under the brands of Mercedes-Benz and Freightliner. Building on the great decision of developing this plant, we are convinced that the new Sprinter will be a great decision also for our customers. This new van becomes a powerful tool for their businesses. The British newspaper the Sun even called it the super van. For example, its new communication module means the vehicle is constantly connected to the internet, turning it to a piece of smart hardware. Fleet managers will wonder how they ever did without these features. Our new Mercedes Pro brand is developed around this connectivity device. It combines current and future solutions digital services on a single web-based platform. And making life easier for the driver is our new MBUX infotainment system. In combination with our new digital services, this multimedia system is and allows, is in the meantime well received by our customers. The take rate is almost two thirds in our new printer rate. In fact, I could say, the new Sprinter is not only a man, but a digital tool. So, it's a perfect fit that a company at the forefront of technology and innovation will become our first major customer. But, before I spill the beans on who is that tech leader might be, let's see how the Sprinter is being built and hear from some team members about what it means to be part of such an exciting new enterprise. Have a look at it. I'm Roberto Whiteside. I've been with MVV for this year for 12 years. I love my job, I love the people that I'm working with. It's like family. Daniel Jackson, and I've been part of Mercedes-Benz family for about three months. My job here is um, Wax and Sikaflex. Team members I work with are a lot of fun to work with. They're a good, strong team. Yeah, I do believe that the technology we have at this new plant in Charleston, South Carolina, is very uh, state-of-the-art. Like we have the Roto-Dip system that only two other plants actually have in the world but the van actually spins 360 degrees, so that's something that's very new and it's very unique. I'd say that this is a great company. My name is Adam Wagner. I've been with uh, MVV for just over four years now. I am a team lead on Trim 2, Team 3. I'm Sydney Melvin. I've been here seven months. From the first few days I started here, they let it be known that there's no big eyes and little U's. They all talk to us just like we're on the same level. That, that, that means a lot. My name is Robert Gens, and I've been at Mercedes-Benz Vans for five years now. The new manufacturing technologies make my job uh, easier, more efficient. They provide a lot of transparency, so we really can root cause the issues. The Sprinter is a world-class vehicle. It's unrivaled in the form that it is in. Um, the new Sprinter is fantastic. Uh, the technologies and the enhancements are all incredible. I love it. I think it's a technological marvel. I think it's our future, and I'm very excited about it. I, I want them to know I built it. I'm ready. I'm ready.
We are extremely proud to announce that the first new sprinter is rolling off the production line today. Guys, great job there in the, way, uh, in the back. I know I can count on you regarding the wave. <laughs> really great. <laughs> Volker, on behalf of the complete team here from Charleston, I'm extremely proud to hand over the key for this first van here, this first VS30 built in Charleston, to you at that point of time. Okay, Mike, thank you very much. Thank great you. job, well done. The first van. Yeah. So folks, what I have learned is maybe next time we have to make the exercise twice for the wave. <laughs> but I think we should do it later on once again. Thank you so much uh, for your outstanding great support to build up this first uh, Bodleian 19 Sprinter. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here is the all new one. The all new Sprinter. Great guys. Looks like our secret is now out. Yes, it is the online retailer Amazon um, who gets the first sprinter. Please help me to welcome Dave Clark, Senior Vice President of Worldwide Operation of Amazon. Dave, please. Dave, thank you for Good morning, Charleston. How about that van? Woo! I gotta tell you, you guys make a beautiful band. I am so thankful to be here today and uh, that you guys are allowing us to be part of this. Uh, congratulations on the opening of this plant and uh, thank you so much to the hundreds of Mercedes-Benz teammates uh, back there in the back who built this uh, beautiful, beautiful band here. So kudos to you guys. Amazon's called South Carolina home uh, for a long time, and uh, we've got uh, almost 4,000 people in the state now, uh, full-time associates at a couple of fulfillment centers and in our customer service uh, folks in the state, and we're excited to welcome you as neighbors. We've had a great experience here. We think uh, you're going to have the same, and I can't agree with the governor and Volker Moore to say that the people of South Carolina really are what make it special for us to be here. Uh, and we're, we've been happy to be here and can't, be, can't think of a better place to be than here partnering with you guys today. In June, uh, Amazon announced a new offering. Uh, it's an offering that helps entrepreneurs build their own businesses delivering Amazon packages. Uh, we put the call out for hundreds of entrepreneurs who wanted to start a package delivery business, uh, and we've really been humbled by the response we've gotten from across the country. In fact, tens of thousands of individuals have applied to become delivery service partners. Uh, and we're excited to share that because of that, we've actually expanded the opportunity uh, to hundreds of new cities across the U.S. Uh, and we expect to continue to rapidly add more. Uh, we're incredibly impressed with the diversity of talent that have signed up for these roles. Uh, their backgrounds span everything from military veterans to serial entrepreneurs. We even have a former NFL player. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a South Carolina grad or not, but former NFL player uh, who's going to sign up. Uh, moms and dads, brothers, people teaming up together to launch their own business. And myself coming from a, a family that uh, grew up in a small business, uh, it's, it's really great to see hundreds of businesses sprouting out, uh, giving people an opportunity to be entrepreneurs. And we appreciate uh, the role that Mercedes is playing in that with us. Their energy and passion is inspiring, uh, and we're really excited to see their journey begin. As part of the offering for these entrepreneurs, owners are going to get the opportunity to work with a fleet management company to get special deals on these new 2019 uh, Sprinter vans, uh, which will help them keep their startup costs low. Uh, and since the launch of this, we've already had some folks out driving the Sprinters, and the feedback has been really incredible. 
Uh, and I can't wait to hear the feedback when they get these new branded 2019 models out on the road uh, later this year. Uh, we've been really uh, happy to partner with you guys and what we think the benefit uh, it's going to bring from you here in the local economy and for our partnership together uh, on these branded vans. Uh, as part of this announcement, you may notice that this van is a, a little bit different livery than maybe what you've seen from our vans in the past. In September each year, we participate with the American Childhood Cancer Organization in something called Gold Gold Month. Uh, and as part of that, uh, with this van we had done in the Gold Gold livery, put the uh, logo in that color. Uh, and this van uh, is going to spend the next few months driving around the U.S., uh, going to children's hospitals, delivering packages to families, uh, who are, are going through the process uh, of trying to, to, to get their kids back to health, bring a little joy to their life, and it's when it gets to Seattle, uh, it's going to be covered in handprints uh, from children from the children's hospitals across the U.S. And to celebrate both the, this moment uh, uh, as being the launch partner here with you guys, and to uh, spread, continue to spread the word on childhood cancer, uh, this band is actually going to go into one of our headquarters buildings and sort of a permanent uh, museum piece for the company uh, to mark this occasion. So, uh, thank you for what you've done. Thank you for participating with that. I, I do have one more little bit uh, that we should talk about before I go. Uh, so, Volker, if you wouldn't mind joining me on stage for one last minute, that'd be great. Uh, as I said, we've been very pleased with the response to the delivery service program so far. Uh, and I think, you know, we, we initially said, like 5,000 vans, uh, and I know you guys have been working like crazy, so I hope you won't be too upset with me with, with this, but uh, we've decided we're actually going to need 20,000 instead of 5,000. Uh, we're very happy to see the work of you. And you guys are back. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day. To be honest, I suddenly got some goosebumps. Wow. <laughs> Dave, uh, and to the whole Amazon team, thank you very much for that, how should I say, very trustful how should I, uh, uh, partnership which we have in the meantime in place. And I can promise to you that the whole team here will do the utmost best to give best support uh, to Amazon and your uh, DSP partners uh, that we have, how should I say, a very uh, a prosperous future together. Um, um, upcoming in front of us. Once again, thank you very much. Thank you. But to show Dave that we are really a perfect team, as I already mentioned, once again, we start with the wave from the right side, right? <laughs> when I say one, three, two, three, when I'm at three, once again. Guys and folks, listen. One, two, three. As you can see, uh, the team can do everything. Manufacture this outstanding all new sprinter and the wave, which is a perfect, I would like to say, combination. So, Dave, not everyone is so lucky to drive a Mercedes as a company. Man, I think that happens not very often. But your team members, your DSP partners, they can do it now. Ladies and gentlemen, our future as a community here in North Charleston, as well as the future of Mercedes-Benz in North America, looks bright. Of course, this outlook would not be so optimistic without the unwavering support of our representing state and local authorities, especially you, Governor McMaster, Amazon, Dave, your team, and other current and future customers our business partners supporting us in our preparation and most of all our Mercedes-Benz team members in the back. Thank you very much.